Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah, and I'm finally getting to do my pillows. Now, I will put a link down below to the video that I learned this from. They only did one pillow. Hopefully, I will be able to do two pillows that I am using. I think it's Ohio yarn. So hopefully in the video it showed them doing this uh, twice around the same pillow. So I'm assuming, but you know what, what it means to assume. But anyways, I am hoping, I should say, that I will get two pillows out of this because I am also adding as a different color change and a little bit of a different texture, some chunky Chanel yarn. And we are of course using Walmart's mainstay and this is in the color, doo, doo, doo. where's my color, uh, Corsair, it's the color Corsair, and it's the same one that I did Sammy's beanie, not beanie, Sammy's uh, head warmer, or ear, ear warmer, so I'm going to use that with this to make my pillow. I can't wait to get started. Oh, and a little update. I did finally finish. This is actually, <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking, but the purl stitch, this is the side that you would use as the purl stitch. And I'm not quite sure which one I will use as the purl and which one I will use as the uh, knit stitch. Because this one, when I did it as the pearl, I guess I should just use it as because it is the pearl that I did. So this is going to be the pearl block square. I'm not too sure how I feel about it, but you know, it is what it is. I hopefully will be able to get the curling. I do need to, I had some people uh, comment on my last videos how to uh, block it. I just haven't done it. I just haven't. I kind of put it away and forgot about it. Not really forgot about it, but you know what I mean. It's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. So I just haven't really worked on this because these are the only two squares that I have out of it so far. And as you can see, this square is bigger than this square. So I'm thinking about putting a border around this one and hopefully the rest of my squares will be this size or this size and the ones that are this size will have a little border around it and then I will tie it together. I'm not sure. I'm still am figuring that out. But anyways, this is the update on my cardigan. This one's probably going to take me a while because, you know, I'm still learning and I haven't, I'm doing other projects as well. I might start doing this one kind of as like a bonus. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And since I used the rainbow light, I'm going to show my colors for my last video, which was the, uh, I did that one. Okay. Which was the Hobie yarn unboxing, the lucky bags. And some of the colors, the way I saw them in the light that I was using was totally different from what they actually are. <laughs> And I think this light is a little better because I'm using the daylight light. So, and unfortunately I was not able to find the, the colors for, sorry, I don't mean to be bouncing the, where's my camera? There it is. So I wasn't able to find the colorways for this one and this one. I'm still trying to figure out, this is part of the uh, acrylic bag. I'm still trying to figure out, um, what to do with all of this stuff, but this was the blue flax. And then obviously when I saw this, I saw it as blue. Why I have no idea because you can clearly see that it's green, <laughs> clearly see that it's green. And so this one's the eucalyptus. And I don't know why I didn't see that. See, look on with the rainbow light, it shows a little bit more blue here. It's a little, lighter I think so but no it's still blue I still see it as but when I see it with the naked eye it has more of it's not as blue as you see in the camera so this is the light blue 
and then this is the lilac and this was the bright blue so there's that but um yeah let's get ready to get our pillows going and what you'll need obviously is the the two yarns that you're going to use if you want different colors otherwise you can use, I don't know if I would do just this yarn I don't know I suppose you can but with what I'm doing because I'm going to do like a basket weave so because of this texture it would probably just melt together and you wouldn't really see the basket weave aspect of the pillow for what we're doing so I don't know that I would do I would do this obviously with this or something else that has a different texture to be able to see maybe just a different color so there you go you could probably do this but have it with a different color so that it doesn't just melt into each other and it just looks like one solid fabric which I mean that's totally fine but it defeats the purpose of what we're doing here today so but hopefully I will get two pillows out of this and so you need the two yarns or the two skeins your pillows and then scissors and a sewing needle thread and some pins and yeah that's that's the supplies you'll need I'll put all of that down in the in the uh, description box below and let's go ahead and get ready so I have my pillow I cut off the tags and we're going to start with the Ohio yarn and the way they showed it in the video she unraveled the whole thing it looked like oh my goodness and then oh there it goes on the floor anyways we'll get started and as I said I will put a link to that video in the description below buzz buzz let's get rid of that And so she stuck attached. Yeah. Stuck push pins in the tops and the bottom on the first few. I think it was three. Ouch. Now I'm going to start with the chunky yarn right here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get two pillows out of this because this is all that I have left. I don't know. Maybe we'll try. We'll see. Now with the chunky, I'm going to start doing the basket weave. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it on the floor, let it un unravel. Where's my end? That is not my end. That is not my end. Okay. Right, there's my end. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and start weaving it in to uh, going this direction. Okay, so I'm having to restart. I'm definitely going to say you need longer straight pins. I don't know if you can see that, but I would suggest longer straight pins because they don't want to hold. So I'm going to start this over, and but we'll get it done. Yes, we will. We will get it done.
So I am pretty much done. There's just some fine tuning. As you can see, they're still white. And I accidentally didn't do enough of the gray. I needed to do one more strip of gray. But otherwise, I am really, 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 really excited for this pillow. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to start to fine tune it. And then I will come back and finish it off. I could I did end up having getting a lot of extra 
of the gray so I was able to fix the one side I don't even know which side it is now um, I'm assuming it's this side and yeah I was able to fix that I have put a knot I don't know if you can see that yeah you can see that I put a knot in that and I am going to cut it right at the knot and we'll get rid of its excess if I can there it is and then I'm going to just tuck it in and keep going until I don't see it anymore and then I'm going to do the same with this one because I want to get these out of the way Oops. stop all right so I'm gonna tie it in a knot I went a little further with that one. That's okay. It doesn't matter, but there's my knot. Oops, there went my thread. And just cut it off. Woo! And same thing, I'm going to tuck this in and keep tucking until I don't have any more. There we go. Now that one's tucked in. I know my pillow is very, and you can still see some of the white. I don't know. Can you, yeah, you can still see some of the white, but you know, this is my first pillow. I'm actually really proud of it. Learned a lot. <laughs> All right. So now as far as these ones go here, I'll go ahead and do this really super long one. I'm going to cut it down. My needle and thread ready, but it's in the way. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. I think I definitely need to get some new scissors and put these ones away. I don't want to because they were they were my grandma's. Alrighty, so let's get rid of that here. I will switch scissors there we go hopefully those will cut a little better okay so with this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this part out kind of shimmy down the the gray there we go there we go and we're gonna cut this excess uh, inner part oh yeah much better and pull the gray back up and then fold it in on itself come on you know I will say this the girl in the other video made it look so simple and easy but obviously as you can see with my uh, struggles Granted, it is my first time, and I do not expect it to be perfect, but still, I wanted it to be nice. So she just folded it in on itself. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I might just tuck it under because I've taken most of that stuffing out. Push it down if I can get my finger back in it. There we go. Just kind of pack it in there. And I'm going to make it tuck in somewhere. And then, yeah, I think that'll work. There we go. I'm going to tuck it in right there, kind of fix it a little and now I'm going to sew it to the, the blue let me sit down 
All right, so basically I'm gonna sew it to the this part. All right, so I have sewn in both sides. And like I said, I still have a lot to learn, but here is my pillow. I do love the texture that it has with the blue uh, Chanel yarn. And I love the colors. I think they're beautiful. So, yeah. Oops. Let me try and turn on the light. Maybe it'll be better. There we go. Is that better? I don't know. Was it any different? I completely spaced. I turned off my light for a moment. But here's my pillow. I'm so excited. I got it done. I have a lot left over. I don't know if I'll be able to uh, make another pillow because it's all like pieces. But anyways. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed making this pillow with me. I actually, I really do love it. I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to play with. I, yeah, it was very trying at sometimes I got incredibly frustrated, but all in all, it came out as good as I could have expected it. I'm still learning. It's still all brand new to me. And with more practice, I will just, I will get better. And with that, remember, Gravity works, guys.